It is finally Friday. Whew. All right, let's do it. Rolling into the weekend. You know how we do. We've ended up with quite the selection of beverages ready to go into the refrigerator, cluttering up my space. Welcome to summer. More things to drink out here, I guess. <laughs> well, with all the cicadas and everything else that's going on this spring, this recent spate of wet weather is fantastic for our window boxes. Holy cow, look at that. It looks amazing. Hey, Mickey. There's work being done back there. Can you see him? Yeah, you can see the bucket truck still. Hey, um, coming back from grabbing lunch. Got a meeting in about 11 minutes. But I'm hoping that you can hear the cicadas as I drive. Happy Friday. Uh, sorry about the knuckles there. Just wanted to check in on the way back home. Get a little time out here in the convertible. Check engine light is back on. Not sure why. I mean, it's running about the same. So I'm hoping I'll have some time this afternoon. Uh, definitely tomorrow to do the repair that I need to do with the connectors. And also investigate the other repair that I need to do. I just have some parts to install. Some, you know, uh, strut tower bushings up at the top there. Had them for a while, just, you know, got to make sure that I have all the tools and the talent. I'm not too sure about the talent part. Uh, all right. Uh, hope your Friday is moving swimmingly along like my Friday has been. Rolling into the weekend here uh, in the middle of June. It is the middle of June already. It is June 11th. Holy cow. I cannot believe that. Uh, we are less than a month uh, away, less than a month away from the big trip. And uh, I need to get in shape for that trip because they have a couple of activities planned that I think I need to be in slightly better physical condition than I am right now. So 30-day uh, plan is kind of enacted. I uh, did some... Uh, did some stuff yesterday, did some stuff in Florida to begin the 30-day plan at least to, you know, increase my fitness level just a little bit before we do that. And man, as I'm making these videos, I'm really seeing the weight in here from when I started doing the vlog 30 pounds ago. Seems like I just put these up. Oh wait, that's because I just put these up. And the rain begins. I was going to go get the... Uh, Oh, sorry, did I disturb you, Cicada? I was gonna get the mail, but nope. <laughs> it can wait, it's safe in the mailbox. Oh, tripped. One of these teams is in second place behind us. I just don't know which one. Good afternoon. Let's see, what have we missed so far today? It is Saturday, uh, 11th, 12th, 12th. And uh, slept in, it was lovely. I actually woke up and then said, you know what? I'm not getting out of bed. And uh, enjoyed some more blissful time with my head on the pillow. Uh, went to the Anderson Farmer's Market. You saw that little video, that's what that was. Uh, we just kind of cruised it, not much happening. And I, we weren't in a buying mood for a uh, Farm grown, uh, local farm grown asparagus or anything like that. And uh, a little target run, exciting, fun filled day. So, what's going on now? I uh, just had to drop off a mask to Trevor. He forgot them. They were sitting in the house instead of being in his car. He has to wear them at work. And a specific, it has to be a black mask too. That's how they roll at Dewey's. Still doing the mask thing. And now I'm headed over to help my sister with something. So, a little time out here in the converter bubble. Should have put some sunscreen on, but I do have a hat to wear, so I also need to get a little sun, you know. <laughs> this is kind of a fun view coming across the river into Cincinnati. There's my sister's row house kind of thing here down in Northside. All right, we are heading back home. Is that how I want to do that? And, um, yep, and then off to volleyball. So we chatted 
right? That's what we do in the family. We are, we chat. So we chatted for quite a while. All right, you gotta see this car, so I'm flipping the camera around. There's a word for that. I don't know if it's a bubble or a donk or what. <laughs> yeah. Just missed some guy with a Mustang and uh, we did the head nod at the, where I was turning right and he was stopped in a car appreciation, but he then had a wow, 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 at, I'm sure because he figured I would enjoy that. That was funny. So I am here in Northside. Northside's one of these uh, neighborhoods, old Cincinnati neighborhood, Northside for a reason, kind of right up the valley from downtown Cincinnati and um, super eclectic, diverse, uh, all of those things that you might think are cool. Uh, so if you ever get that uh, time, just kind of chill around Cincinnati, visiting Northside is kind of fun. We used to come here back in the day, like in college and in high school because they had a good army surplus store to, you know, get like, you know, olive drab uh, army pants and things like that. Uh, almost moved here, actually. My parents considered buying a house here and moving out of East Tide Park uh, when we sold the bar for a while, but luckily we didn't because the bar sale didn't really last at that time. <laughs> Uh, so my sister lives basically in Northside, close to it. It's like I say, it's cool, it's fun, it's funky, uh, it's neat. It's a neat place. If you're in, yeah. down the street, I was looking for a Kirby, and then another guy in a different Mustang, uh, being noisy with this car as well. <laughs> Something about those Mustang drivers. I have to tell you that even driving on the highway, now granted I'm in a convertible, but there are bushes uh, in the median here, right? All these bushes. And I can hear the cicadas clear as a bell living in those bushes. It's kind of cool. It really is. Every 17 years, their whole life cycle, and we get to experience it. It's kind of cool. And then when there's not much vegetation, no trees, no cicada sound. Great question. <laughs> Porscheville. No, this is more like Joe's dad's. Is it? With the uh, spoiler. Yeah. yeah. It's a classic look. I'm not going to argue. Yeah, not a lot of career. But dude, I literally beg him to bring it to the garage so I can fix it for him basically for free and he doesn't. Missed the VW talk because we were just chatting. Get a cool kit car. You see the photo. Here we are in this old American muscle iron section. It'd be like okay, the uh, yeah, Formula One did. car that well, had six here. wheels. Now that I'm looking at it. A lot of cool stuff here on the Grand Mall. Hey, hey, this is an extremely rare Camaro. So rare, in fact, it's worth about a million dollars. The last offer he had on it was seven hundred and fifty thousand, and his accountant said, "Don't do it." Starting that, like the one next to the Camaro. It is. It's the one that's locked down there. Actually, no, it's like two off one Camaro. You have the roll, roll bar in it. Look at the front bolster in this Ferrari. Okay. On the street. This is the only picture I asked the guys to pose for by some random race car. So there it is. 
This was a Ford versus Ferrari. That's a real Ford GT. The Ferrari, I'm not too sure about. Uh, and then there was this uh, Indy race car. Road drove, I should say, in the Indianapolis 500 just last weekend. We then moved down to for what us was the last section. Yeah, that arbor top should be on top of those pillars. I guess there's trouble. Um, anyway, it was the <laughs> Nissan Z section celebrating the 50th anniversary of those cars. There's a red one in the middle there, about four cars down. That was one of Ben's favorites. It was his dream car, and it was the owner's dream car as well. He did have to fire it up and get the AC running, though, because his wife was really suffering in the heat. It was just brutally hot. Those two mustard-colored ones that you just saw, uh, Ben spent some time talking to those gentlemen about how you can tell those two apart. They were just one year apart. And then he, of course, immediately educated me. Commented on the videos of me put my motor together last summer and was like, mm -hmm. this is, you know, a disgrace how you treated those parts, you know. Right, Ben? Yeah, Dad, you're blocked. Thank you, Fred. Mr. Hi. Fred. Say hi, everybody. Howdy. <laughs> In the soup. Woohoo! Okay, so the fun on the hill was um, apparently the switch that Trevor has installed to uh, manually cut off his fuel supply for the fuel pump. Um, it's a safety measure, it, um, it heated up. so. We're at AutoZone getting a new switch. <laughs> new switch fired. All right, people, that wraps up Sunday. A um, lot of volleyball. Didn't shoot a lot of video, obviously, because I was busy playing volleyball. I had a tournament on Saturday. We played a gazillion games. Um, played uh, our tournament tonight when we won the first round and lost the second round. <laughs> Cut my hair. Um, went to the Concord d'Elegance, as you saw. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed those bits of video, but that's it. That's a wrap for the weekend. So let's make our day um, Wish me luck. You know all the things ring the bell Hit the like You know, all right. See you next time <laughs>